Today we are going to review the EchoFlow Power Station Delta. And here's the box that it's shipped in. And here's the box how it's shipped. It says to keep this box for your warranty. So don't throw away this box. And here's the actual box of the unit. It looks like the box is a little damaged. And inside you'll find, looks like your warranty information. And, oh, there's a nice bag to your power station. It looks like these are the accessories. So here's the power station, and it looks like there's a nice material bag, it's like a Velcro cover. And this is your station, and it looks like you can unzip it here. So inside your accessory box, you'll find uh, instructions on how you connect to your solar panel. Looks like these um, solar panel connector cable, um, AC power adapter cable. There's no brick, it's just a cord. And a car cigarette lighter connector. And here's the unit. Here's the back. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six ports. There's a cigarette lighter port. Looks like this is the front part. And oh, this is the back. And here's your connector for the AC adapter, your solar. And this is like a reset button. Here's the front of the unit. And this is the turn on. Yeah, it looks like it comes at 27% charge. And these are your plugs. So you have a USB-A, two of them. Two USB fast charging and two USB C chargers. And here's the other side of the unit, and you can see the fans. And that's about it. And here's a side to side comparison with the Anchor. This is 400 uh, watt generator, and this one is 1300 watt. This one weighs about 35 pounds or so, and this one a lot less. You can check my review on this one up here. So to charge your generator, you want to use your AC adapter plug here and plug in here and just match them. And you can see how long it's going to take to charge. So the charging is really quick. It looks like it will only take about an hour to charge from 27% to full. And it's taking about 645 watts. Now it looks like the charging has ramped up to 1047 watts. And it's only going to take about 52 minutes to charge from to full. Currently at 29%. So about 15 minutes passed and it's currently at 89% charge. 
Uh, since this is a lithium ion battery, the last 10% will take much longer to charge than the first 80%. So if you're in a hurry, I recommend you just charge up to 80% and not the full 100%. And now the generator is fully charged. Took about an hour or so. First we're going to try this space heater that takes approximately 800 watts here. Plug it in and turn on the port. And you can see it's starting to heat. <laughs> and it's warm. And it's using, let's see how many watts? 411 watts. And this is on low. So let's turn to high. Oh, this is much more warm. And it's currently using almost 800 watts 767 watts and it looks like you'll have one hour of usage on high let's see if it oscillates and now it's oscillating and you still get about an hour of usage okay Next, let's try a water kettle. And this one didn't work with the anchor power station because this used too much power. So let's see how it works. Plug in. Turn it on. And it looks like it's working. The light's on here. And let's see how many watts it draws. And it's taking 1,487 watts. Almost 1,500 watts. Now, you can use it for 52 minutes. And it looks like it's working. So you can hear the fan on the unit because it's powering, the batteries are being pushed. It's still drawing about 1400 watts and used up 2% of the battery so far. So it looks like the display will time out, I guess, to save power. If the water boils, using quite a lot of power and now it's at 96% charge. And 
and you can see the water starting to boil. Well, you can see the steam coming out. So this is working. So it will boil your water kettle. And it looks like it, the water is done. So it took about five minutes and used up about 5% charge. And finally, let's see if it powers a hair dryer. This one is about 1800 watts. Plug in. And let's start with low. So it works at low. And let's see. Power usage. She's using about 113 watts. Let's go to high. And this is doing 225 watts. And let's use the high heat. So this is that max power and max heat. So definitely a hair dryer will work. You'll get about 50 minutes or so of usage. And I maxed it out. So it's at uh, almost at the 1800 watts. Overall, this is a very sturdy build case. There's a uh, rubber on the bottom and the handles to grip it when you need to move it. So I do recommend getting this if you want some emergency power or for camping. And this is the Echo Flow Delta. Enjoy.